If you're searching for a convenient way to create videos and GIFs of your Unity game, look no further than the Package Manager. Here in the Unity registry, we can scroll down a bit and can find the Unity Recorder. Just install it, which I already did, and after that, you can find the window under Window, General, Recorder and Recorder Window. Let's create a video recorder by clicking Add Recorder and choosing Movie. And now we got some settings on the top and on the right. Most of these are good. I usually just change the target FPS to 60, the output resolution to full HD, and in the file name include the current date and time. If you're using version control, such as Git, you might also want to change the path to somewhere outside of the project or add the file extension, in this case mp4, or as we later see webm, to your ignore file. Let's record some gameplay. Notice that play mode is automatically entered when starting the recording, and we can tick this box to exit play mode when ending the recording. Also notice that you won't hear your game's audio during recording, but it will be in the video file. Let's see how that turned out. It looks pretty good, but the audio sounds a bit off. I found that the different formats you can choose here have their pros and cons. MP4 seems to have some problems with audio, so it's best suited for recordings without audio. WebM, on the other hand, has good audio, but the video quality is, I think, a bit lower and the FPS while playing the game can also drop significantly. Don't worry though, everything's fluid in the recorded file. And lastly, QuickTime aka Moth has huge file sizes in higher qualities and low frame rates all across the qualities as far as I experimented with them, so I wouldn't recommend it. So to sum it up, I'd recommend using WebM for recordings with audio and MP4 for recordings without audio. One more thing you can do is change the aspect ratio of your recording to be better suited for posting on social media, especially TikTok. You can do this right here and enter a custom aspect ratio of, for example, 9 to 16. Be aware though that your game must be fit or made to fit for this, as it will adjust the UI to the new aspect, as well as cut off parts of the screen on the left and the right. It's also possible to create a GIF recorder, but I'm not too fond of this one. I find it to be way too laggy, both while recording and in the output file. Let me know in the comments if this is different for you. A better way to create GIFs is to just record a movie like before and then convert it, by using a website like eSGIF for example. Here we can go to Video to GIF and then choose one of our movie files and upload it. After the upload has finished, we can set a few parameters like start and end time, size and frame rate. GIFs shouldn't be too long anyway, so try to stay under 10 seconds to get that sweet frame rate of over 30. Then we can just press the button to convert our GIF and we see its final size and we can optimize it further uh, with these controls down here, for example, to compress it some more and gain some more advantage in the file size. Then after all our edits are done, we just press the save button and we can download the final GIF. Bonus tip, if you're using a lot of different recorders, you can also save your recorder list as an asset. Doing this enables you to load it up in a different project and removes the need to create recorders anew for every new project. P.S. If you're wondering what this Pong game that we were capturing is all about, I'm creating an in-depth tutorial series for people just starting out with game development and this is the current state of it. Check it out if that sounds interesting to you. The link is in the description.